uh, factory workers is paid based on the total working hour of two ring fifty cent per hour. Ten percent of the total salaries will be deducted to for contributing to KWSP. Prepare the monthly net salary of the factory workers. First step, you need to identify what is output. Okay, here is we can uh, must uh, highlight the keywords. The working hour for total salary will be deducted for contribute. Prepare. This is a, a final result. Prepare the monthly net salary. Monthly net salary. So, tot, uh, automatically, the output is display net salary. And then now, we need to find what is input so input is beware if you get the fixed numbers that is not the input we already know uh, that is uh, have uh, some value so we don't need uh, put as input so what is input here is um to get a work total working hour we need to plus uh, plus something so hours is one the thing we don't know the exactly value so this is variable So, hours is input. Enter. Oh no. We can uh, put it hour. And then 10% is not the input because there is already we known the value. And then total salary will be deduct to KWSP. Prepare the monthly. Okay. Let's say you don't know how to what is the things you need to write on the input. So you can uh, proceed to the uh, process. So we try and find the process what is a process involved here so to find the net salary you need to know the working hour So how to know? Total working. No, we wrong. We need to know what is the salary. So salary, we can find the salary by hours times RM. To ring it 50 cent so how many hour he work so he will get paid based on two ringgit 50 cent per hour and then 10 percent of the total salary will be deduct to contributing kwsp so now we need to know kwsp we be uh uh from the salary and okay, so from the salary so times 10 percent times salary so now you will get the KSP amount but you don't know the next 
uh, salary that workers will be receive so yeah the correct one is net salary equal salary minus kwsp so from that you will get net salary okay so here we don't uh, don't want to use a display so we will use just direct to point output is net so Larry. so there is uh, the the suggestion answers you can write it so we go to the, the next question question number seven convert the weight from the kilogram to pound so you don't uh, do not uh, afraid or you not uh, if you forget for that uh, formula it is a done does a matter because the the formula already given so you can use it so here is you need to know what is output first so output here is convert the weight from the kilogram to pound that's mean pound is the output so now we can write here is pound and then uh, we need to identify what is input so input is weight weight in kilogram so what is the process involved process involved is around talking about this formula so pound equal equal weight in kilogram make sure you are using the exactly word on this input because for the next step this is uh, we call variable we can use it and then it should be same uh, spelling and for all so that's all oh no it's not done yet times 2.2 it's quite easy so here i will be i leave it you uh, with the question number eight Thank you for my tutorial.